I'm Darcel Lobo and I'm the owner of Dow Law Firm here in Normandy Park. And today's video is about LLCs, Limited Liability Corporations, and the purpose of them and how to use them. Now an LLC is a form of a legal entity for a business. Um, there can be many different purposes when you have an LLC. Um, it could be for any legal purpose, but most commonly we deal with LLCs for our clients when they own investment properties. So maybe a second home that might be a rental or investment. So we help them in creating the LLC for that property. The reason you would create an LLC is to limit the liability that you would have personally um, for any debts related to that property. So for instance, if you had a rental property and you had tenants in that property and there was some kind of dispute or claim related to that landlord-tenant relationship, if the lease agreement was with the LLC and the property was owned by the LLC, you would be able to look to limit your personal liability for any claims related to that dispute. The only asset would be the assets of the LLC, which in this scenario, would just be the real estate itself. So when you form the LLC properly and you have the real estate owned by the LLC, you can limit the exposure of your personal assets. So if you own other real estate, you have other investment properties, those properties would be protected with this LLC for the one property that you do have. When using the LLC to limit liability, there can be a number of ways in which it is structured. You can be the individual owner and it be a single member LLC. It can be a married couple who are both members of the LLC, or there can be other members, investors, partners, other people who are members of your LLC as well. It does not just have to be an individual or a married couple. It could be any combination of individuals. And sometimes we actually have families who may own property together and they are on the LLC as members and then that LLC in turn owns the property. If you are going to use your LLC for real estate, it's important that you not only create the LLC, but that you also have a quit claim deed that transfers the property out of your personal name and into the LLC's name. So for any real estate you own, when you purchased it, it most likely was purchased in your individual name. And so after we create the LLC and file it with the Secretary of State, we would then prepare a quit claim deed to transfer the property out of your personal name and into the LLC. LLC name. That makes the LLC the title owner of that real estate. For the LLC, many times clients are not sure of what the name of the LLC would be. On the Secretary of State's website, there is a search function where you can look for names of any LLCs that are registered in Washington State. So when you use this search feature, you can confirm that the name that you would like to use has already been taken. If it has been taken, then you cannot use it. If you're not sure what to name the LLC, if you're using it to hold real estate, many times I suggest to my clients that they just use the street address of the property as the LLC name. So for instance, if your property was located on 123 Main Street, the name of your LLC could be 123 Main Street LLC. And that way, if you had multiple properties, you could very easily identify which LLC was holding which property. Now, when some clients have multiple properties, they're not sure if they should just use one LLC for all the properties or if each LLC should hold its own property. I recommend the latter, that each property have its own LLC. That way you are limiting the liability of each property through the individual LLCs. That way each property is not collateral for each other if there is a claim or any kind of dispute. Each property should have its own LLC. Every LLC in Washington State needs to have a registered agent, and that registered agent needs to be located in Washington State. The purpose of the registered agent is to accept any kind of service of any legal documents related to the LLC. So in the event that there was a lawsuit, there would be an identifiable property that should be served with that lawsuit. Our office will serve as a registered agent for you if you would like us to do so, or if you reside in Washington, and you can be your own registered agent. It is entirely up to you. Once your LLC has been registered with the Secretary of State, you will receive a certificate of formation. Once you have that certificate, the LLC can proceed to do business. 
However, there will be an ongoing obligation for you to file an annual report with the Secretary of State. It's very easy to do. It can be done online. The fee is currently $10 per year, but every year you will register the LLC and renew its registration um, through its renewal process online. Again, it's done very simply and easily online, and the current fee is $10 per year. You will have to do this every year that you would like to have the LLC conducting business. If you have any questions regarding creating an LLC or we, you would like to do so, please give our office a call. We would be happy to help you. Our number is 206-408-8158. Thank you.